I changed it up just a little bit. Let's see if it pays off. What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. We are back right here on Lone Oak. Very exciting. What we need to do is we need to get this unfolded. I've gone for the cheaty way. I couldn't do it, man. I couldn't do it. So I'm going to cheat a little bit and we'll be just fine. <laughs> so this is also going to save us some time as well. What we're going to do is we've got a couple other crops we need to. We've got one field that we need to harvest, plus we have a grass field that needs to be cut. So what's going to happen between then is this trailer right here will get itself done. I believe this has uh, well, a million, two million liter capacity, something like that. Let's go ahead and set that down. Hopefully this... Oh, is that on the ground? That is not only on the ground, but it's not working. Hmm. Interesting. Let's see. Raise up, raise lower. Is this just not working? Oh man, this may not work with this John Deere. Nope, not at all. Looks like that ain't working and our crop destruction is on, huh? Yep, okay, well, uh, let's get rid of that. So we're gonna do this the long way. I hope you guys are cool with that. Uh, how's about this? Uh, yeah, we'll take the trailer with us, why not? So we've got a bunch from yesterday. We got a lot of chaff. I got a whole trailer right here that's just full, ready to be taken. Unfortunately, with all the stuff that's going on right now, can't take that over just yet. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna unload that. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. We're both gonna find that out today. Bam, let go of that. Drop the pin down, good to go. So we released a video yesterday, a brand new video, the Q&A. We did the uh, 30K Q&A for you guys. So let me know if you haven't checked that out yet. I will make sure that that is linked at the end of the video. And it will likely also be linked at the six minute mark in this video. So make sure you guys check that out. Oh, we're going a little bit too quick. Just a little bit too fast. Slow it down. Got it. So I need to hit one more headland on here to finish our three headlands because we filled that trailer up yesterday. Let's do that. Unfold this. Got it out. Good, good, good. So I'm pretty sure this is just a rebranded uh, camper or whatever it is that we've got in game. I'm not saying that's bad, just kind of is what it is. All right, so three, six miles an hour is going to be the way it happens. Nothing wrong with that. Again, we've hit our two headlands through here. This is going to be our third headland. And then I'm just going to send this trailer up and let the worker do its thing. Now, of course, we could get another one of these, but I think I'm just going to use the one and be done with it that way. I don't think we need two of these guys. What do you guys think? Should we use two of these? Yeah, I think one will be okay, at least for now. So I'm hoping that we don't need to do silage more than once, at least not before this is released, everybody, because I would really like to get started on like the, you know, building up the farm. I do want to wait because uh, game plan is to also do that with seasons. So I just want to, uh, I just I've got ideas, and I want to wait to make sure that everything is just perfect before we do that for you guys. So let's bring this round. Let's set it on a worker. And then, that right here. Perfect, hire worker, jump out of there. Let them do it. Hopefully they'll be able to turn around with plenty of room on both ends. Now, let's grab a tractor and let's get this dumped in the silo. I think for this job, the 9RT is going to be absolutely perfect. Plus, we could turn around in here, so it's a little easier to turn around. What we've got is we've got what, about 61, 62,000 liters of chaff. And we need to get this in the silo somehow. Now, my first thought is, okay, well, what if we dump this in our main silo and then put it in another trailer that we can dump and back around and everything? Okay, well, we could do that. Yeah, that's definitely a possibility. We could dump it over the side. Yep, that's another possibility. Or, that is real loud. Or we can take this guy. You know, I could have just put that on the back of the calf. Eh, hindsight's 20, 20 isn't it? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dump into the Bergman right here and then use that. That's gonna be the game plan. So this is right here. I'm just gonna pull the Bergman under there and we're gonna dump from one trailer into the other. 
Now, what are we going to use here? I think, you know what? Let's just use the tractor that we got, the brand new 8R, uh, the custom modding US version. Right there. <laughs> That's what I say. Did I just turn it off? No. We're good. We're good. We're good. Let's back this thing out of here. Ha! You thought we were going to have a crash. Nope. But we're going to have a five point turn. There we go. <laughs> Let's go grab the uh, Bergman trailer. Let's pull it up to it. Probably going to have to make two trips. There's nothing wrong with that. Since we are going to be messing around over here by the grain dryer, I am going to uh, turn the over overall volume off. So right now there should be no volume. Here's the thing. Here's the reason why you guys can hear that so well. Uh, and this is the same with a couple other things too. They're not linked to any, any sound. So they're not linked to environment. They're not linked to main volume, stuff like that. So uh, that's why that is so incredibly loud right there. Now, of course, I have that volume muted so that we can actually maneuver and do our thing around here. Wow, that was loud for me. So now I just need to make sure that we're in the roughly right spot. I still think we need to move this just a little bit more and move it just over just slightly. And so that's the game plan right here is to dump from one trailer into this one and then dump it into the silo. And when I say silo, I mean the bunker silo, not the uh, not normal, not this silo right here. That silo over there. Let's get into here. Okay. Moment of truth. Yeah, see, it works. Perfect. Let's dump it up a little bit fast. Oh, can't do that. There we go. All right, so it looks like that's about as fast as we're going to be able to go. It's going pretty quick anyway. There's that. Almost full. At least it looks like we're almost full. Nope, we got plenty of more room in the back. This is a bigger trailer than I thought it was. It's going to take most of this. Now, I can't remember what the exact capacity is, but I'm pretty sure we're going to find out here in just a second. Wait for it. Wait for it to stop pulling. Is it going to take the whole thing? No. All right. Yeah, I was about to say, that is a lot. Goodness. Let's jump in here. 61,000. Wow, 61,000 liters. Holy cow. Let's back this up without doing that. <laughs> yeah, that was the crash you guys were waiting on. Move around here. This is pulling it. Tell you what, this thing is straining, but it is pulling it. It is working. Let's get this backed in here and let's get it dumped out. Now, the way we're going to do this is we're going to uh, stack from the back to the front, just like this right here. Now, hopefully this has a top to it. And by a top, what I mean is uh, the silage has kind of like a, a height. So that's like a, so when we back up like this, it keeps building up and building up. Hopefully it's got a nice flat top to it. Most do. I just want to be able to find that flat top. There we go. Open it up. Oh, we're already done. Oh. <laughs> let's fill this back up and let's do that some more. Now we've got some here. Oh, look, we can turn the uh, turn the volume back on so you guys can hear what's going on. There we go. So we've got some in here, but what I'm going to try to do is catch up here and see if we can get this filled up. Now, I believe there's about 150, maybe 160,000. It's not going to do it, is it? Please, please, <laughs> please recognize me. I'm right here. Not going to do it, are you? You know what? I don't need you anyway. I'm just going to go this way and do my own thing. Let's take this. Let's dump it in the silo. And then I think it's time to go ahead and get a little bit of harvest done. Let's go ahead and harvest that field right there. I believe we did one of the oats, wheat, something like that. I'm not sure. We need to double check. Looks like oats. Yeah, we planted oats. So that's what we're going to be doing there. Uh, go ahead and hold your ears. Getting ready to go by the grain dryer again. La, 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 la. <laughs> it's a little bit loud. I need, to, I need to send Oxy a message about that and see if it's just me or if it's something else. So we're going to be able to fill a lot more in here than I thought we were. We may should have done both of those fields in chaff. It's okay that we didn't, but I think maybe we should have. So there's that. That's good. I don't think we're going to need this Bergman anymore because whenever we do the rest of it, I'm going to try and do it. And there it is. I'm going to try and do it with a uh, semi-truck. Try and get in there with a semi-truck and get it like that. So that should make that nice and easy. Put this back up in here. There we go. That seems to be a nice place for all these extra trailers and uh, auger wagons and stuff that we're using. So, speaking of, 
Probably should have gotten one more of those. Let's go get some oats harvested. So here's a harvester that we have not used yet. Uh, we have used the other one. This one has zero. Well, now it's got 0.1 hours on it. Pull in here, grab ourselves a header, and back out. Let's go ahead and open this up while we're at it. Now, we are set to 26 miles an hour, and it will go at 26 miles an hour. But I think we'll be better off going, eh, we'll say... 12. I think 12 is good. It's a little bit faster than normal, but well, it's about twice as fast as normal. I think it'll be just fine. Let's bring this here. We do want this for straw, so we're going to have to go in a little bit of a neat order a little bit, uh, just in a way that makes this work good for us as far as straw goes. And because these are oats, it will fill up decently fast. I do not foresee us being able to make it around. We might be able to make it around twice, or we might be able to make it around twice with two, uh, or once with two uh, Phillips. You know what? Words are hard right now, and, and I, I embrace that. Also, these cows are really loud, too. <laughs> but it is beautiful. People have been asking all kinds of stuff about this map. Uh, and just like I said yesterday, this map is exactly like it was, like you remember it, from 17. If you played Farming Simulator 17, everything's in the same place. Uh, really, the only big differences I've been able to find that were huge were the addition of the chicken pen, right? The chicken coop and the addition of the horse stables. Those are the only things that I've noticed that were big additions that are like, hey, you know, if you're going to be playing this, this is what you need to know. And so other than that, that's that's really it. Speaking of horses, since we've got some uh, oats here, we got some straw. We haven't made any hay yet, but I was planning on making hay. Maybe we should get some horses today. You know what? Let's do that. Let's get some horses today. They are off the farm, so we will have to we will have to do stuff with the horses on a separate farm. However, I've been trying to figure out what to do to use the uh, the John Deere 5 series. So we may end up doing either A, buying a new one, or B, we'll just use the one that we've got. Either way, I think that's a great idea. Let's work towards that today. How about that, guys? Let's work towards getting a little, a little glitchy out right there. Yeah, okay, there we go. Pick him back up. So we're rocking like 58 frames per second. Like that's, that's not right. It's not right at all. But we're good now. Everything is all right. So let's back this up. Nice and easy. Good. Cool. Let's get this thing unloaded. The first load of oats are in. There we go, right there. So what I want to do now is I want to get everything ready for getting stuff over to the horses. Now, because we need to do that, I need to go in and we need to get some trailers. I think this is going to be perfect right here. The TDK 1600. Now, I thought we got another version of this some time ago. Maybe one that we can hook together, may paint it some John Deere colors. This guy right here. Ah, we can't paint it though. That's the only thing. What about this one? Nope, just the main color. I want a smaller trailer that we can paint that is only one axle in the center. See, we got the gator trailer. We could use that, but that's not going to be what we need. Nah, nah, nope. Ah, there's so many trailers, but we don't have one that, that I want. Let's see. There's capacities right there, but we don't have one that we could change colors. What about this guy right here? Let's see. 16,000 liters. Not awful. It's got a good capacity. Mm, do we have a trailer hitch? I don't have a trailer hitch. Man. Almost perfect. Almost perfect. Let's see. What about this one? The Joska. Now, I know this one has that. But does it have a trailer hitch on the back? I don't see a trailer hitch anywhere. You guys know of any? I think, yeah, we're at the end of the end of the run now. Can we change these up? Okay, so we've got that. We've got a trailer hitch. These may be the ones that we go with right here. Those were from the, uh, oh gosh, what do you call that thing? The mod contest. Let's jump back out. Just just real quick, I just want to see. Because I was looking for something more like this, a Straumann. I thought the Straumann would be great. Or this, even. But you can only change main color. But you can't change it to whatever you want. That's that's the big part right here. Okay, I'm going to go through. I'm going to find whatever trailer we're going to use. I want to get two of them. One for oats. One, well, Actually, now three. One for oats, one for hay, one for straw. And then we will get a water trans behind it. To pull field is done we're gonna take this right here and we've got everything purchased that we need so what did we get well this is what we've got right here i got a brand new five series 
it's not going to pull everything over there very well. But I'm going to force it to do it anyway. I don't care at all. We're going to make it work. So we got three trailers. One for hay, one for straw, one for hay, straw, oats. That's the one. And then one for water as well. We'll pick up water on our way over. So that's the game plan with that. That's empty, so that is good. Let's jump over here. Oh, 99%. <laughs> 99% full. Perfect. Well, all we need now is some hay. And it looks like this guy over here is just about done. I don't know why I'm bringing that in. Looks like he's just about done. Maybe two, maybe three passes. And this is going to be all finished. Now, let's take a look in the back of the trailer. Oh, yeah, we should probably boom this in. So, this trailer holds, I believe it's 100 million liters. Maybe it's... 10 million, but I believe it's 100 million liters. Let's just jump out, take a look here. So we have 808,000 liters in there. Not too shabby, not too shabby at all. That's going to make for a fine silage harvest. Our buddy right here only missed a few little spots. We're going to hit these for him ourselves. I'm right up on it. There we go. Drop it down. Maybe I turned it on a little bit too fast. There we go. Cool. So I think we're going to get right about depending on how much we get here. Somewhere around 880,000, maybe? 870 some? Yeah, we're gonna get quite a bit. This is gonna be a fun silage harvest. Close to a million liters, not quite. Pretty close, as close as you can get. There's that, and we'll hit this spot right here. Boom, not even any deer corn. We've taken it all, man, we've taken it all. So let's get the trailer, or the front folded up, rather, the header. And then I am going to drop the trailer here because we've got something to help us out. There we go, drop that there, and pull away from there. God, this thing is nasty. We've got to do something about that. Let's start this thing up. What we've got is we've got the in-game man TGS truck. This is going to give us a hand in backing this thing around. This is one of my favorite trucks in the game just because of how much power it has and how easy it is to maneuver. I really, really like this truck right here. This is gonna be perfect for us. And this version of the trailer dumps pretty darn fast. And it's loud again. I get. I did email uh, Oxy about that. Um, I just don't think it's linked to uh, the sound effects for the map itself. Nothing we can do about that, at least right now. Maybe there's something he can though. Maybe make it a little bit easier on everybody. Because don't forget, I play at like 10% volume level. Okay. This is where the fun begins, because we've got a lot to unload and a lot to get done. So I think for this, let's just run a nice little speedy to get all this done, because we've got 815,000 liters left. All right, that took way too long. <laughs> so let's uh, let's go over here to our main silo first, see what we've got. Uh, I know we don't have hay, and I know that we don't, well, we've got water, but we don't have uh, hay around here, and we might have straw, not really sure, but I know that we need oats. So the very first thing is going to be oats. Now, where is oats? Right here. We're going to fill up one trailer full. I feel like that would be plenty. So there he is. One trailer of oats. Now let's pull forward and see if we've got any straw. This is the one where I'm not sure if we're going to have any straw. Hey, 35,000 liters. All right, we've got straw. Now I know we don't have hay, so we're going to go around to the buy anything mod and we're going to get stuff from there. Now to keep in mind, this little guy, I think he's got like 85 horsepower or something like that. 
it ain't very powerful. And when we load this thing up with 15 more thousand liters of something, and then we load it up with water, yeah, we're going to run into some issues. But I don't care. Like I said, we're going to make this thing go all the way over. Let's boom out. Let's get it where it's just right. Right above it. There we go. And now we need hay. So let's fill up with hay right there. It is going to cost us some money, but yeah, money's not really an, an, uh, yeah, it's not an issue. And water. There we go. We've got everything that we need. There's nothing in the front bucket, but there doesn't need to be. <laughs> it's going, but it's not happy about it. Let's rock and roll, baby. Let's rock and roll. Let's head over. Time to go buy us some horses. So if you're curious about the horses, about where they're at, oh, we definitely could not make that. They're right over here on the left. If we could just get there. Come on, come on. Come on, little baby tractor, you can do it. Pull everything. It is full. That's this poor, poor tractor. It's probably going to break down. The transmission's going to pop out the front before we know it. So the horses are right over here up, right by the left. Let's see if we can pull the map up so you can see where we're at. So we are down here in the bottom right-hand corner of the map. And here it is, the horse area. Perfect. So what I want to do is I want to just kind of leave everything sitting right there. We're going to come right here and we're going to buy eight horses. Well, we've got one of each, so why don't we just buy one of each horse? Perfect. There we go. Confirm. Now we need to get in here because this is where all the food and stuff is. So let's jump in and I'm going to take them one at a time. So the first one is going to be... Oh, 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 there we go. First one is going to be oats. Now the food goes directly directly in front of us right as soon as we come in we should get a tip definitely not getting a tip maybe it's on the other side after we run through a couple horses here yeah they're looking up like hey i don't i don't know if you know what you're doing but you're trying to kill us yeah there we go now i don't know if this is going to be enough either i hope this is enough i hope that it's too much to be completely honest with you let's bump over here and take a look uh, yeah, we're going to need a whole lot more. That's that's going to be a fact. Cool. Yeah, we've got about half what they need right now, but we're going to need a whole lot more. So there is one. There is the first load, and that was oats. Now we're going to take this out. And I think the next one's straw. Is that correct? I believe the next one's straw. Drop that there. And pick this up. We might be able to take the rest of it in. You know what? Let's try that. I was, I didn't even think about that. Just take the entire lot of it in. So let's scoot over to hay. First off, since hay's going to go right here, should get a tip here in just a moment. Ah, we're not going to because the water's in the back. Uh, maybe, maybe not. There we go. There's our tip. So hay is going in now, and then we'll hook back up to the water. We'll take the straw, do it all the same. The one thing that I did not think about. Okay, yep, hooked right up, perfect. I was gonna say, the one thing I did not think about was having to go through and do that entire thing and back up two trailers at once. I was not looking forward to that. So pull forward here, start overloading the water. Let's take a look, make sure it's all good. So we've got enough oats and hay to last a little while. We're gonna have too much water. That is a great problem to have. There we go. And then the straw. I'm bring about right here. There's that. Start overloading the straw. Now the straw does go kind of in the middle of the pen right here. If we bump up, we may be able to see it start to accumulate. Yep, you can see it starting to accumulate all around. Awesome. And so we've got more than enough straw that we need as well. I like it. Hey, we got a good base to start off doing some uh, doing some horses. Perfect. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. If you aren't, please subscribe. If you have any questions, drop those in the comment section below. If you get any ideas, stuff that you want to see here on Lone Oak, let me know. That being said, hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace.